Hi everyone, welcome to my Core 2 OCR June 2013 paper. The question that we're going to look at is question 8, which you can see is all about exponentials and logarithms. Providing the question is a graph, and the graph shows two exponentials, which means that x is in the power. The first one is increasing as x increases, and the second one is decreasing as x increases. The red one we call exponential growth, the yellow one we call exponential decay. Anyway, our job is to basically figure out which one is which, because the question tells us that labelled on the diagram are y equals a to the x and y equals b to the x, but it doesn't tell us which is which. Now, if we think about when x is 0, Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So when x is 0, this is going to be 1, and this is going to be 4 times 1. Now obviously 4 is bigger than 1, so we can deduce that the yellow graph must be the one with the 4 in it. Okay. So from thinking about x is 0, not even knowing anything really about the graphs, we can see that the yellow one is y equals 4b to the x, which crosses at 4. And the red one is y equals a to the x, which crosses at 1. Which allows us to answer question i, a and b. So coordinates of y equals a to the x, where it crosses, x is 0, y is 1. Now if you don't put the whole coordinates, unfortunately, you don't get any marks here. So if it asks, if it asks you four coordinates, write the coordinates down. State a possible value of a and a possible value of b. Now we need to think about what value does a have to be so that the line actually increases as we can see it does. Now, if we think about a number, say 1, 1 to the power of x is always 1. So if we thought a was going to be 1, we'd actually get a straight line. If we thought a was going to be bigger than 1, let's say 2, we're going to get 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, okay, and it keep getting bigger and bigger. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, etc. In fact, any value that you can think of that is greater than 1 is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Because we don't know the scale of this graph, you can get the marks for a for putting any value that is bigger than 1. Okay, 1.1 would work. I'd just go for most simple answer of 2. For b, you want something that is getting smaller and smaller. Now, if you think about doing something to the power of x, how are you going to get it to go smaller? Well, there's different ways to think. You can think that if you've got, say, a half, and you times it by another half, it's going to get smaller. So fractions are things that get smaller the more you times them by themselves. So for B, you get the mark for saying any value less than 1, so a half will do. Okay. Now, the second part of the question, part 2, are the x-coordinates where it intersects. Okay. So, AB equals 2, that's some information that we're given. Show that the x-coordinate of the point of intersection of these two graphs, which is here, can be written in this form. So, when we've got two graphs intersecting, what we're talking about is the two equations being equal to each other. So, this equation and this equation are equal. So we can write down straight away, we know that 4 b to the power of x equals a to the power of x. Now, in a show that question, you're trying to get to that answer without actually using this answer. However, you can use the answer for clues as to what to do. Now, hopefully, you'd be thinking that you want to take logs of this equation to try and simplify it and bring the powers down. 
exactly what logs to use wouldn't normally matter. However, we can see here a log to the base 2. So we're going to be quite cunning and think, let's take log to base 2 then. Because that is going to be in our final answer. So we get log to base 2 of 4b to the power of x equals log to base 2 of a to the power of x. Now you can use your log laws and you can think, well, when I've got log of something multiplied together, you can add the logs. So we get um, log to base 2 of 4 plus log to base 2 of b to the power of x. And if you remember another log law, when you've got a power in your log, you can actually bring the power to the front. Okay? So on this side, we're going to get x log to base 2 of a. Now we're going to use the same rule here and bring this power of x down as well. So you could do this on your next line maybe and you're working out. I'm just going to edit this a little bit. Okay. So now we need to simplify this and what we're aiming for is x equals. So we're going to make sure we've got our x's on the same side of the equation. Okay. So, x log to base 2 of b minus x log to base 2 of a by bringing this value across. Okay. We're going to also take away log to base 2 of 4. Now, log to base 2 of 4 means what power do you have to raise 2 by to get 4? Okay. And the answer is obviously 2. So this represents the number 2, which we can take across. And for some reason, I forgot the rest of my equation there. Sorry about that. Log to base 2 of a equals minus 2. Now, the clever thing that we have to do here is to get x on its own by factorising. So we factorise out the x. And we get x log to base 2 of b take away log to base 2 of a equals minus 2. Now we're going to use our log laws again. And we're going to think we're taking away so we can divide logs. So it's log to the base 2 of b over a equals minus 2. Okay. Now we think, well, well how are we going to simplify b over a? Now if you look back in our question, we're told that a times b is 2. Okay. So if a times b is 2, we can rearrange that to get that b equals 2 over a. And in that way, we're going to eliminate b. Okay, so b equals 2 over a, that means that b over a equals 2 over a times 1 over a, which is 2 over a squared. The way I've done that is to just think about this quantity as b times 1 over a. Okay, so we're going to change this value to 2 over a squared. Now we're going to use our log laws again and we're going to think, okay, we're dividing so we can take away logs. Log to base 2 of 2, take away log to base 2 of a squared equals minus 2. Now when we think about log to base 2 of 2, what power do you have to raise 2 by to get 2? The answer is 1. Okay. And all we're going to do in the second term is 2 log to the base 2 of a by bringing this power to the front. That equals minus 2. We're a couple of steps away now. We divide by this value 
and we get minus 2 over 1 minus 2 log to base 2 of A. Now, if you look at this and compare it to our answer we're aiming for, we don't have a minus here. Okay? If we had a minus here, we would need a minus there and a plus there. Okay, which is what we've got. So effectively, all we're going to do now is multiply top and bottom of the equation by minus 1. Okay, so x equals 2 over 2 log to base 2 of a minus 1, which is what we are aiming for, so we have got our 5 marks. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful.